There's a new Japanese series on Netflix that takes on hard-hitting journalism, but is this show going to hit hard? Let's talk about it. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I want to say thanks for joining me today. We like to talk about movies, TV shows, and all things streaming, and today's show is so fascinating. I was excited. It's actually a remake of sorts of a film that came out a couple of years ago, one that I have not seen, so this is a new story for me. And here is your premise. So, Anna Matsuda, a reporter for the Toto newspaper, is a highly regarded and well-respected journalist who uses her strong beliefs to get to the bottom and discover the truth of every story. Confronted with political crimes and the scandals of modern Japanese society, she makes it her priority to expose the corruption ravaging her nation. Starting with Matsuda, she is a respectful journalist, which is maybe a different approach than we see sometimes, but in the first episode, we don't really get a good idea of that just yet, uh, because we establish the fact that we're seeing this play out through multiple perspectives, and within the opening few scenes and as we transition into kind of the second half of that first episode, we're trying to balance so much happening at once. And while I found the concept as a whole really interesting, I did find the first episode a bit choppy from that perspective because it's trying to do so much and fit uh, a ton into 45 minutes. And that's why I look at this and I say, how was this a movie? Because there's so much going on, it almost has to be more than two or three episodes. But in this first episode, it feels like it's trying to cram so much into this one. I was a bit lost, and I was also kind of losing my grip of this show. Now, before you tune out and you say, ah, it's not even worth watching, Austin, the stories do eventually come together. But boy, does it take a bit of time. Uh, not only is the first episode maybe a bit slower than I would have liked, uh, but the buildup also goes into episodes two and three. But this is when the story really started to hit for me. And even though episode one was a bit messy from a structural standpoint, that final scene, everything kind of starts with that. And that's the moment where I looked at this and said, okay, if that's the way we're going to go, then I'm probably going to be on board. Because what we come to realize with this series is not only are we dealing with corruption and fraud, fake news that she is trying to uncover and essentially tell the world. Now, there are moments where she has an opportunity to make things known, and sometimes she'll make the opposite decision of what maybe I would have done in that situation, but you never really know until you are in the moment. And that's one thing I love about her character is she's always trying to rationalize it in her head, but she's approaching it from much more, I would say, of a moral standpoint. And you get that with a lot of these characters. Essentially, you know who is on the good side, who is on the bad side, but there are a handful of characters you don't necessarily know at first. They're kind of riding the fence. And I appreciate a show that can not only give us an interesting story at its core, but complex characters to kind of uh, push that story forward. And that's absolutely the case. Once we kind of get into the mindset of what's going on and exposing this corruption and governments covering up things left and right, and you sit in on those scenes, one round table discussion uh, that I've probably already hit on that comes in the first batch of episodes. And that's when I said, okay, this is going to get intense. And as we move, it does get intense. The atmosphere that is captured by the direction is really good. The look of the show, the cinematography, is actually fantastic. I, I love the, the fact that it makes you feel claustrophobic when you need to, uh, but you're also getting some beautiful shots along the way. And uh, the one major complaint I have about the technical elements is actually the score playing underneath. Some of the time it doesn't fit tonally, with what's going on and then staying on the audio level of things look it's a show from japan so obviously you have to do subbing or dubbing and i chose the dubbing route at first because i always like to see how it works with these series it just didn't work for me it didn't work for me at all especially when you look at the subbing underneath it and you get the meaning of some of these sentences and, and sometimes it works right but i personally prefer getting the performances from the actors doing the subtitles underneath, especially in this case, because some of the dialogue was just so on the nose and it didn't feel as natural as maybe it needed to. And here's the kicker with this show. It works so well thematically. 
right? The question of, okay, I, I want to do what I'm told, but do I believe what I am doing is right? And you're always pondering that question. And then, of course, what is happening in this series, you could also apply, is happening in everyday life. Clearly, not just in the United States, not just in other countries, in Japan as well. But I like seeing the parallels. Like I said, there's a lot here, probably four episodes worth of really engaging content. Everything else that happens. At times, I did feel like it was stretching certain elements out, really felt it in the first episode. And even beyond that, there are moments in episodes four and five where I'm like, okay, I do wish we would move through this just a bit quicker. So that makes things feel like they're dragging as opposed to rushing, and sometimes that can be worse when you're watching a TV show, so it's not one that I'm going to recommend binging at the end of the day. Maybe go one to two episodes at a time. Portraying the little guy as these greedy corporations lie and cheat to get what they want, that is absolutely impactful. And at the end of the day, when the show wraps up, I felt the ending was uh, uplifting in a way, but certain things didn't quite work for me because I felt there was less realism in the way that it ended. Before I give you guys my score, if you're here and you enjoyed this video, drop your thumbs up to support this channel and let me know, uh, is the original movie worth watching and which one is better? Beyond the clear pacing problems, this is a series with a purpose and a lot to say if you give it time to find its footing. And I did, because of that, I'm going a 65% with my score. I think it's a series, uh, like I said, with a lot to say, but one that is worth watching because the filmmaking itself and some of these moments with the characters, they're genuinely great. So thank you guys so much. Appreciate it big time. Stay tuned. More streaming and movie reviews coming this weekend.